So anyway, today we're gonna be, uh... Wait, what are we doing? Okay, we're, we're opening up the gate of time. Ah, your sword! There could be no doubt the Sacred Flames have purified this blade. Well done, Leong. That sword holds tremendous power. Mm. That power is a sacred force. It's a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is to see that same great power now flowing through you in the sword you carry. <gasps> Come, Leong. You must now open the Gate of Time. Now that the Sacred Force dwells within your sword, strike the Gate of Time with a skyward strike and it will surely awaken. Climb up on the pedestal. I've already done that. And show the Gate your sword's power. Wait. Hold up. <laughs> Whoa! No, I fear the seal has given way once again. The terrible beast is awakening, even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there was no other way to open the gate, so it goes. Leon, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> Alright, bring it on. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. <laughs> open the... Go, 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 go faster. Do what you're doing, but go faster. No. Hey, Leong! Yeah. <laughs> Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grucinator! <laughs> Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? It's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know? Anywho. Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on, though. That monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Got it. Just rolling in place. And... Here's everyone's favorite guy, everyone's favorite weird thing. Yeah, now he has arms. Oh boy, the imprisoned, my favorite. Look at that, seems our ugly friend grew itself a pair of hands. Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch, because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know until then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Yeah, after that, he's supposed to try to knock you off, but if you're really, really fast, then you can do it. Yeah! Best attempt. Mm-hmm. 
Go faster. Dude, that that's that skyward strike thing just went flying. It just like bounced off of it. An hourglass, meaning that we would probably have a lot of time, right? Right? Wrong. Hey! Nice work! Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but there's no th need to thank Bruce. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get that gate of time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. Open! Ah. Seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. You have my thanks, Leonk. As to you, Groose, I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two had not been here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you give me too much cra credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could to help. I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Leon, you must wonder what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There's much I could tell you, but suffice it to say, it's the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the Gate of Time, you shall learn more. Mm -hmm. mm. Huh? Hey, gate, the gate of time is not yet activated. So now these gears have to come out of nowhere. Do not fear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now awaits. Go bravely. If everything is, I, is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought for so you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit, and Granny here keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might bust free again. Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me, with your creepy teeth. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? Nah, forget about it. When you see Zelda, tell her I said, what's up?
Hey! At last, I've been expecting you, Leong. You are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia, though it will come to be known as the Sealed Temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away demise, and little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that will one day become Skyloft. Mm -hmm. It is true to its name. You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend waits for you. <laughs> You've come so far, Leonk. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> I imagine it fulfilled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home to the distant past. She filled me in on nothing. In this era, the, the wounds inflicted on the lands during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Devise have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about that war we heard growing up in Skyloft Incredible as it may seem, they appear to be all too real. I think it's time you learn the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Devise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both the, them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it became, came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess highly succeeded in sealing away demise. However, soon after the demon king was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against the fierce of power. <gasps> Highly had suffered great injuries in her battle and with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Highly had devised two separate plans to set them both into motion. <gasps> Link's eye, Leong's eyes are very red. First, she created Phi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on this mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made the sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of its power could never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. <laughs> you probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Leon? You are the chosen hero, and I, Zelda, I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. And was just watching creepily. The day of the ceremony, Girham's, Girham's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lead them to the sealed grounds. <gasps> I had no memory of all of that as my of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited them, them all, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the, remi the revival of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. We must stop him from free freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. This is why in I intend to remain here in this time and place, to sustain the seal as best as I can. You failed, by the way. As long as I continue this vigil, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. <laughs> I must maintain the seal that highly, rather, that I created so long ago, and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. <gasps> Leonk, the goddess created Phi, and the Great Blade she was a part of, for very specific reasons. 
for the task of standing against demise in the monstrous form he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back into his prison twice now. How do you know about that? I can't thank you enough, Leonk. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. <laughs> and by overcoming trials set before you by the gods, you found your courage. Now those qualities rest, reside in you. You are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can now claim the Triforce. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage, and for this I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land! The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend and within you dwells sacred power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Leonk. Draw your sword. Yes! The goddess has blessed your blade, and the master sword has at le last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with the mystical power to drive back demons, and only Leonk may wield it. The true Master Sword! Leonk, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a simple, a symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have pow the powers of Vanquished Demise once and for all. The problem is, along the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, may wield its might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created the Triforce, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically s designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow I think that may, may have been their way of giving hopes to all the mortal beings of this land, which brings us back to you. To face demise and give the land hope, the goddess Hylia needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Link. Leonk. But spirit alone was not enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield that supreme power. And so highly, I mean, and so I... I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger without even a moment's doubt. I... I used you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all of this, Leon. But you must understand, this is a war, and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be well-intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it does not excuse my actions. But I am prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To ensure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. Leonk, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me... Are you kidding me? I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. <laughs> I, while it's true that I am highly a reborn, I am still my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. While Dem when Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need for the seal that binds him and I will be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up 
when you slept in. But this time, when all of this is over, will you come to wake me up? Of course! That chest there, uh, it is not. Yep, this is the true master sword. It's long as heck. This sword, blessed by the goddess herself, can only be wielded by the hero of legend. Oh yeah. Now I look extra epic. Wrong way. I like how you come out the other side. Like the other, other side. You know. With the gate of time, see, we're on this side, but we're gonna end up on the other side. Y you know? So you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sleep without end. But do not despair, for she is alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is the one thing with the power to vanquish demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddess. Sadly, that is all we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Leon, you have likely come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Mm. Go now, Leon. Find the Triforce. Ew. Whoa, whoa there, hold up! Leon, there's something I gotta tell ya. Then he gets all weird. <sighs> so, uh... So Zelda, how's she holding up? Was she okay? She... That's terrible, it's gotta be so hard. But you're gonna do something about this mess, right? Yeah. <laughs> Leon, I made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. <laughs> oh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I wanna do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's gotta watch that big <laughs> ugly monster and someone's gotta make sure Granny's doing all right. And hey, it's action-packed is what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny, you know what I mean? <laughs> Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess. But don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not weird to say. <laughs> Check it out. Zelda and Granny have brought life back to the land here. I bet even the weakest sapling could grow into one beast of a tree in the soil like this. It'd brighten the place up a little, too. I mean, sure, it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I've got nothing but time. It's weird to say out loud, but that's just how I feel right now. So yeah, you know, when you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and w let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm happy, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Leon. Every 
spit it out. We've been thinking about this for the past five minutes. Oh, hello there. Hey. Uh, hello, Link. Leon, have you heard any more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything, I urge you to share it with me. You want to tell me, but you can't? Hmm, I, I understand. I sure you have a good reason for keeping quiet. Leon, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You've had this destiny thrust upon you without warning or choice, but for that matter, but I wish to help you. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. Triforce. Leon, where'd you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. Unfortunately, the actual location is, isn't illuminated in any of those tomes. Its, its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, it shames me to say it, but my knowledge of it... My knowledge is of little use on this subject. Hey. Do I know of any, anyone else? Uh... Hey. Leon, just a moment. Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levius, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages? Levius has served as the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of our world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone of the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, it would be him. Uh, I know. Um, I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that suddenly appeared in our skies. Recently, I've heard rumors suggesting that Levius is trapped inside that massive cloud. I asked instructor Alwyn to look into this troubling cloud in order to determine if there's any truth to these rumors. I had meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it. Dr. Zelda went missing. Instructor Alwyn can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed? So many words! This game is built on dialogue. And I hate it. Where, where'd we, where'd we go? Mm. Ah, Leon, how goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levias? Oh, so you've been talking to, to the headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levias is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not the Levias that we all know. That's a monster. It certainly looked like the Levias, but the last time I pro approached him, he came rushing at me, and his eyes, they were full of malice. People change, or old wise and creatures change, no matter. Perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What, you want to talk to him? That's impossible. I don't think Levi's is capable of listening, not in his current state. And if you and if you were even if you were even to get close enough to talk to him, he, it would likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. <laughs> what? You still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I say would talk you out of it. Okay, he's inside the hunter head. He's in. Spiral charge. It's like dash, but it's not a dash. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I taught your lock loop to perform spiral spiral charge when you press X. Use a spiral charge attack to break up the ten targets. At least ten targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. You can destroy 10 targets under 100 toy seconds. I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Alright, off you go. Obviously, you this one first. Well. not think I was going to get that. Yes! 55 seconds. That is a 
all-time best. Oh, you managed to destroy 10 targets within the time limit. You can control, control your bird that well. You have no problems at all. I knew you could do it. What a, what a magnificent red bird. You are henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a Kwame bird rider. Okay. Owner of the lumpy pup. Okay. Oh. How convenient and perfect. What's the matter? You look like you got something mighty serious on your mind. Levias, uh, sure I know Levias well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup, but lately a huge thunderhead has been brewing there. I haven't been able to make, I haven't yet made this year's offering. And look, I tell you, I feel horrible about it. You say you'll deliver it? I don't know how you plan to fly, fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but that's the case. I'm gonna make everything I do everything I can to like make Levias the best batch of pumpkin soup. We wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never soup before. <laughs> Voila, here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years, and I have to say this is the best batch I ever created. Master, I will signal for the freaking robot. Oh, this is another heavy load, but don't worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. I can take you wherever wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. He said that I need to go to the island that has a rainbow over it. I gotta get out of here. I got to get- I got to get the frick out! So this place is awful and disgusting and bad. I'm unloading this cargo of pumpkin, pumpkin soup here. You picked an odd place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment. Hungry for soup or robot. Dude, you've literally got visible electricity, I don't think. Oh, frick! It's the biggest of the boys! Look at him! He's so beautiful with his eyes and yeah. Great spirit of the skies, Levias. <laughs> oh, good lordy. Yeah, that's the point. Ah! Yeah, it really feels like we are not moving. Then again, he's moving in the same direction as us, so. Ah! I don't want to fight both of these things at once! Leave me alone. I'm busy. Come back later. Actually, don't leave a mess. Avoid that huge tail as well. And all these fin things. He's a, he's a big whale. In the sky. He's gotta have a lot. It's gotta be pretty difficult to fly all of that around. 
Ah! And then the fun. Oh, I, I, I just flew right through his fin thing. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, fr it's a friend. It's a, it's a friend. The ocular parasite! Violocide! Hold up, I want to see if this actually works. Okay, I said I want to see if this... I don't think it works. I don't know if this does more damage or not, but I'm just gonna try it. Oh, right. What? I don't... Yeah, you don't say. If you're comparing this thing at all to a sad puppy. Sad, ugly, disfigured puppy. Oh, right. Now we're at this part of the phase. Oh. Okay. I want to know if this does anything, but... Okay, frick. Just frick it, dude. Because he's not a puppy! No, I, I could do this all day. I just, okay, there we go. Easy boss. Doesn't even count as a boss in my opinion. And now we're dead. We are going to die. <gasps> Leviathan! Tell me, boy, was it you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome, irksome past possessing. I was not myself. But that business is done with now. This deli the delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. Yep, it was the soup. It was the s it was the soup, not me. I am the great spirit they call Levias. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess highly abhorred me. Appointing me as Lord of the Skies. What do they call you, boy? Uh, Leon, is it a rather pleasing name? That your parents have clearly have excellent taste. <laughs> <sighs> Carry a curious sword. I sense a silent power. Song of the Hero. Got it. Nice to see you, Leonk. Hey, uh, okay, I found that, uh, sick flame. You are not the only one. I found out some more about the legend of the three dragons. This news is going to blow your mind. I found out there is indeed a hidden path beyond here. There's 
narrow path that I could not fit through without losing a few pounds. My theory is that I probably linked to the home of the Thunder Dragon, one of the three dragons in the legend, and I'm convinced that these robots must have something to do with it as well. The Thunder Dragon, a bunch of robots and, a ta and time shift stones. What a story! Oh, I almost forgot, Leon. Do you remember the excavation project you invested in? Well, we hit the jackpot. I found a large cache of time shift stones. I can pay you back tenfold now. for a goddess wall. Yeah. Oh, I need that, actually. Oddly enough, it seems that drawing a circle on a church, certain strange walls will produce something wrong. Also, drawing diamonds will produce something wrong. For some reason. Oh, yes, yeah, right there. Okay. Is it? Okay. <laughs> okay, goodbye, Link. Goodbye, Leonk. Goodbye. <laughs>
Tray fruit eating this succulent fruit of legend cures any illness. Take it to the Thunder Dragon. Ugh. Oh, Leon, hello there. Is there something you need? Yeah, I need to give you this thing. <laughs> this is. Oh, is that what I think it is? You brought that here for me, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, down the hatch. I'm not gonna say that. Don't, don't. Oh. oh, you've done it, boy. I can feel the fruit effect surging through me. It's exhilarating. I feel like a proper dragon again. Hey, he's doing some spin, 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 twirl, circle. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Thanks to you, boy, this old dragon will keep on charging a while yet. I owe you a big thank you, so allow me to per perform a moving rendition of my part of the Song of the Hero. I should warn you, I've got a mean set of pipes and I know how to use them. This will clean out those ears, boy, so brace yourself. <laughs> Part of the song of the hero! Leon, I owe you my life. You have to let me repay you. Give us some time to repair it when you next return to visit me. I believe you will be mighty pleased. Master the belt, yes. Seek out the other two dragons. Well, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, so be sure to like, share, subscribe. Bye.